Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here, and today we're gonna to be doing a slightly different video. As you can tell, there's a massive ass microphone in my face, and that's because today we're gonna to be doing a review of this microphone, and I thought, obviously I have to do the voiceover and use the microphone in the video because then you guys actually know how it sounds. So this is made by Fifi, and it's called this the K678. It's a unidirectional cardio condenser microphone, and it's kind of similar to something like a Blue Yeti, but it's a, it's a slightly cheaper Blue Yeti, basically. It's $50 cheaper, it prices in at $80, £73, and you do lack some features from the Blue Yeti, so I do want to mention that. You only have one recording mode, so if you do want to record, like, say, in the middle of a room, in a table or something, or with multiple people, you might want to check out something else, but this one only has one specific mode, which is kind of just this, for speaking into it, being close to it. That's the only mode it kind of comes with, and honestly, that might be good for most of you guys. I think this is pretty much the standard mode everyone leaves it in anyway on a Blue Yeti, so... Yeah, I think this is definitely something you might want to consider if you do want something like a Blue Yeti. Or even if you're looking at a Blue Snowball, I kind of think this probably sounds hmm, a little bit better. Or maybe hmm, about the same. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. haven't used the Blue Yeti in quite some time. Now, in terms of recording ability, this records in 16 bits at 48 kilohertz, which is exactly the same as the Blue Yeti. So I guess they're trying to really compete against the Blue Yeti. Fee fine, they're really sort of head on head with Blue. And obviously the $50 price cut makes this exceptionally good. And you probably are thinking like, oh, maybe it's like bad build quality, but no, this thing is insane. I took it out of the box and I couldn't believe how premium this thing felt. Like it was so solid. It just felt like a solid piece of metal. And it had that sort of cold feeling as well. Like when you take it out and all the knobs and everything about this feels so high quality. I would expect this thing to be at least $150 from the build quality. Now, I do want to mention Fifine did send me this microphone, but they have no expectation as to my review of it. They just said, we want you to do a video on it. And honestly, yeah, this thing is great. No wonder they said that. This thing is actually super, super cool. I would definitely pay £73 or $80 for this thing. It's It sounds better than some of my Zoom H4n stuff. So um, I can suggest this if you want to do podcasts or you want to do some videos. I mean, even if you just want to do video calls or just use it for talking with your friends when you're gaming, this thing's great, like for the price, yeah, I can't really think of anything better than this, honestly. Now in terms of features, obviously I mentioned the build quality, but it's also matte black, which kind of looks like the Blackout Blue Yeti Pro, which is hmm, kind of nice. I'm comparing this a lot to the Blue Yeti, as you can tell, but it's just like a little baby Blue Yeti, isn't it? And you know, it does come with a nice stand as well, so if you want to put it on your desk, you can do that. I wouldn't really recommend it because you're going to pick up all like the key sounds and just all the rattly sounds from on your desk. So you probably want to get something more shock absorbent or an arm like this, which you can mount on the side of your desk and you can get it much closer to your face than if it's just down on your table. So I would suggest doing that. This one was really cheap. I picked this arm up for about maybe $20 and it came with the pop filter as well. So I specifically picked this up just for this microphone, but I'm going to be using it as well with my shotgun mic. Um, which you can do as well but something really unusual was the mounting this thing has a quarter 20 screw which is kind of used on like cameras normally like just your standard camera tripod thread this comes with that which is unusual for a microphone but it does come with an adapter so you can connect it to your standard microphone mounts and yeah i'm using that right now so a little bit unusual they did that but considering they included the adapter it doesn't really bother me too much now i mentioned this is mini usb i would obviously like it to be usb c or something but it isn't, it's a cheaper microphone, so I really can't complain. It sounds great, and it comes with the included cable, which is quite long, so yeah, I really can't ask much more. In terms of knowing when it's recording, the light on the front will be green if it's ready to go, or if you have it in mute mode, there's a mute switch, it will go orange, so then you know that it's not recording anything. There's a couple of knobs on the back, so one of them is for gain, so that adjusts your sensitivity, so if you want it less sensitive so it doesn't pick up much background noise then you might want to have that low down and then your other knob is for adjusting the output sound to your headphones because this thing actually has in a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can actually plug in your headphones and live listen to how you're sounding which is really ideal for doing a podcast or even right now i'm listening to myself through my bose qc35 mark twos that's a bit of a waffle the name but yeah, it's really nice to have that. And something really cool is you can actually select the output for your sound on your computer to this microphone, and you can actually listen to the sound from your laptop or your desktop, whatever, through the microphone. So if you wanna play a song, you can listen to that while also hearing yourself talk. So 
Really, really cool that it's got pass-through technology. I think it's great. It's just a very simple microphone, and the fact that you can't really mess it up too much because there isn't really many options is kind of nice, especially for people who are beginners and they want something just, just simple, something you just want to plug in and use, and it sounds good. That's for the people I would recommend this microphone. Maybe if you're obviously more professional, then maybe spend a bit more money, but for me, it's pretty good. And you can obviously tell from this video how it sounds, so if you like it, maybe think about picking one up. The link will be down below. Now, one last thing, the frequency response, it's 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz, pretty standard stuff. But yeah, I like this microphone a lot. So if you have any suggestions for more videos or anything you would like to know, definitely ask me down below in the comments section, but please remember to subscribe. I'm super hyped about 50,000 subscribers, which we are quite close to now. So if you could subscribe, that would just be amazing and it means the absolute world to me. But thank you so much for watching. Peace out.